Hello, everybody. This is Tricia with Disability Rights of Arkansas, and I am currently serving on the board. And we are here today, and we are going to be speaking to Andrea Beadle. And she is with Building Bridges Developmental and Community Services. And I am very excited to hear what all she has to say. Um, currently, they um, Building Bridges partners with Cabot, Lone Oak, England, and North Little Rock School District. Um, Andrea is from Lone Oak, but now she calls Cabot home. Um, and she helps high school students and adults work towards independence and to help them find jobs in their local community. She is married. She's been married for 17 years and she has a 16 year old son. So I'm sure it's very exciting at your house right now, isn't it? Welcome. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you so much for doing this. I really do appreciate it. So I just, let's just jump right in. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about what you do, what your role is in the classroom? Okay, yeah, um, so I've been with Building Bridges about three years and um, I really enjoy what I do. Uh, our biggest role in the classroom is I really get to know the students. I work very close with the teachers and um, we really want to see what these students are interested in. We want to see what's gonna make them successful at work. What can we do to help them, you know, travel these steps to get to where they need to be? Um, it's a lot of just getting to know everyone. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it. Just spending time with the students on a more personal level, um, seeing what they're into, maybe even try to see what their triggers are. Um, and that way we know that we can have a successful job placement for them. Now you don't, you guys don't work, you don't work for the school district, you partner with the school district, yes. correct? Yes, okay. we partner with the school districts. Now, are you guys in there every day? Are you in the schools every day or just certain, certain days a week or how does that work? Um, each of our schools, we all have four different teachers. So each of these teachers are in the school every day for the first semester. Um, after that, um, that's when the students go to work and we don't necessarily have to be in the classroom every day, uh, but we still take the time to monitor their progress at work. Um, we handle any details or any uh, problems that may arise at their work, um, but that's kind of it. The first semester we're there every day and then the second semester we're in and out. We're kind of popping in, checking on everything, see how everything's going. Now, is this is this strictly for seniors or do you do like juniors and seniors? Um, juniors and seniors are welcome to do the program. Um, some schools may have their own discretion, uh, but whatever the school decides, it can be open to juniors or seniors. OK, so now is this and please correct me if I'm wrong. Is this a program that every school district should offer in, in Arkansas, or is this, is this some sort of an elective program or? Um, it is an elective. They can take, um, they can have the choice to use it as an elective. I think it would be very beneficial if every district would offer it. Um, sometimes if it wasn't um, for our program, some of these students may not have the chance to, to work at some of the places that they work at. I think it would be great to have at every school. Yeah, I, I agree. I fully agree. So what is it? What is the relationship between because I hear you talking about going into the classroom. I hear you talking about mm -hmm. the teachers. So what's the relationship like between you and the teacher? And, you know, because I mean, that's a lot, you know, between that yeah. between education, the education piece and the mm -hmm. work piece. Like, how do you balance it all with the teacher working with the teacher? Um, the teachers that we have. Um, they're really good at what they do. Um, they're really good at special education. And so I really um, bounce ideas off of them. Uh, maybe I don't have the right answer to something. And so I'm, I'm real quick to really work with them and communicate. Um, it's really, it's having good communication skills. It's bouncing ideas off e each other. I may know something that the teacher may not, and then she may know something that I don't. So it's really just, you know, getting to know them, um, and they, they have a lot of great advice that we can all so they 
they start, they actually start their job like mid senior year. Is that how that works? Um, second semester is when okay. they start. Mm -hmm. When they start actually doing their jobs yes. and you guys just work with different, um, you just work with different um, people in your community that provide uh -huh. these jobs. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and so that's in North Little Rock also, you work with, you work with companies in North Little Rock also. A lot of the North Little Rock students work on campus, Okay, uh, but this year was really tough because of COVID. And so we yeah. didn't have as many opportunities this year. Um, but we do have a few that work off campus in Little Rock, but just like North Little Rock, some of the other schools like for the students to work on campus. So right. that's also an option. Um, but a lot of students like to work out in the community. Right. So it can really go either way. So how do you choose? Do the do how do you choose? Like how do you choose what kind of a job they're gonna do or or what's the best fit or how right. to make sure that they're gonna be successful? Yeah. Um, when they first start class, we do a lot of assessments and those assessments really tell us their strong points versus their weak points. So we really use that to kind of compare maybe where they would be successful. And that goes with spending personal time with the students and really getting to know what they like. Um, like if someone says, I really, I really want to work outside. We obviously don't want to put them in an office where they're kind of trapped sitting because we know probably wouldn't work out in the end. Uh, but it's a lot of going into the community and what do you guys need? What are you looking for? Is there something that our student can help you with? Mm -hmm. and we hope that they're happy because if they're happy, it's every day they're coming in, they're like, man, I had such a good day at work. I learned this, I learned that. And that's what we like to hear. And that's what we, we really just, I don't know, get to know them and what they like they're into. And we also also ask, what would your dream job be? And we kind of, we may not can get them there this time, but we can maybe start at a lower level and they could kind of see how it would be. Um, so that's what we do. So is there, do you guys provide support for them while they're actually at their job? If they need it. We uh -huh. have a job coach on staff. Um, she goes through job coach training. Um, not every student needs it. Not, not every student is required to have it. But if we see that they may struggle a little bit, and it could be maybe they can't pay attention for a long time at work. Um, maybe it's um, they tend to kind of talk to people as they come in and they don't really understand. I need to focus on this instead of focus on what's going on out here. Right. That's what my coach is for. So she's a mentor. Um, she's there to teach them how to properly do the job, not do the job for them, but she's there as a coach. Um, some students require long-term job coaches. Some of them can fade away after two or three weeks. So, so it, what happens if by chance it's the job placement isn't successful? I mean, I mean, we're all human. We've all gotten jobs and we're like, you know, this just isn't going to work out for me. This isn't a good fit for me. So yeah. what happens in their situation? Um, and that has happened um, several times. And so we usually take a step back. If a small break is needed to maybe let's all meet, let's regroup. Let's see how we can move on from this. Um, if they didn't like office work at first, then we would maybe try a different environment, something else that they're interested in. Um, when we had one girl one time, she was like, I love kids. I, I just want to be in a daycare. And she job shadowed there for two hours and she realized <laughs> not for me. So that's why we like to do these type of things. If it doesn't work the first time, that's okay. It's, you know, it's not the end. Right. Let's move on and we'll find something else that we hope works better. Yeah. Sometimes what sounds like a good idea yeah, you know, isn't always what yeah. we want. Now, do they do they work during the day or do they work at night or is it both? How, what's, how does that work? Um, it's both. So some of the schools, they choose to work during their class time. So if they have class from, let's say, 12 to 130, that's the hours that they work. Um, some students work after school, depending on what time they get out. Some work um, 230 to 4. 
and then some work 3.30 to 5. So it really just varies. But as far as like working till 9 o'clock at night, no one does that. It's usually daytime or maybe evening up until 5 o'clock. And they're getting paychecks for this, correct? Yes. Yes. We pay the wages for them. So it's they're getting to work and they're making money. And that first check that they get, that's probably the best day that we have, just seeing the smile on their face and the excitement. Because for some of them, that's the first paycheck they've ever got. So that's one of the best days is that paycheck day. So when they, so, so this is all during school. This is all before uh-huh. they graduate. So yes. let's talk, let's talk post-graduation. What does that look like for them? Um, we know that college isn't for everyone. Right. So if we have a student that's like, I don't want to go to college. I want to go to work. Um, We have a program, we have a vocational center in Cabot, and they can come to us and they can kind of enhance on those skills that they've learned in high school. And while they're there, we help them look for a job. Um, If they do choose college, um, we have some resources that we can help with that as well through Arkansas Rehab Services. We can kind of make that connection with them. And of course, when it comes to college, that's kind of where we fall back. Right. And we can at least make that connection for them. But um, we hope that, you know, we just keep being successful and we keep being able to offer more things to these students that's graduating. So, so let's talk more specifically about bridge, about building bridges, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? So yeah. can you just tell us a little bit more about you know, what exactly is Building Bridges? Where is it? You know, what exactly do they offer? Yeah, so um, Building Bridges, we have three locations. Um, We actually have preschools and adult development. So we have a location in Lone Oak and two in Cabot. And the particular center I work at is ready to work. So we are more of a vocational center. And we really, um, we really try to to keep them going on those independent living skills. Um, They do budgeting. Um, We study the driver's test a lot. They do career readiness, uh, mock interviews. And it's really, we hope that once they come there and then they leave, they can live independently. That's our goal. Um, But our adult development, we have two of those and we have the preschools as well. And, we, we're hoping to grow and be able to offer more programs in the future. It's definitely a, a plan that we're working on right now to where maybe we can become more of a training center one day and we can offer uh, Microsoft Word classes. Right. We can offer cooking classes. We can offer um, a stocking class. How do you um, look at an invoice and then you go over to the shelves and you can find these items on the shelves, right? Um, art classes, just things like that. So we really right. have to understand what we do. Right. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, what the parents need to look for. So if the parents, if the parents are, if, if they got, a, let's say, a, a, a ninth grader or a tenth grader, and they're trying to figure out if this program is available at their school, like is like what would they be looking for? Like maybe a class name or a program? What do you usually see it titled as? Um, the class is usually titled as pre-employment transition. And some people call it pre ets for short. So either one of those would be a good indication that the school offers that class. Um, if, if a school doesn't and you would like to know more about it, a good resource would be to call Arkansas Rehabilitation Services right. that um, run the program essentially. So they would have all the answers and all the options that you would need. And they could potentially partner, help help get some sort of partnership going with the school. Yeah, if absolutely. Not, if it's not yeah. offered. Uh-huh. So what if someone's watching this and they have either a, a senior that's currently in school that hasn't had this program or a junior for that matter, or they have someone that graduated a year or two ago and they never got this type of opportunity? 
Um, and they really don't, they're not, they don't, they don't have a job or they don't, you know, there's, because there's, there's so many people, so many, so many people in our community um, in the disability community that when, after they graduate, it's kind of like that's the end of the road sometimes for them. And they, they really don't, there's nothing else offered at that point. So, and sometimes parents don't even know where to go, where to turn. Do you have any suggestions for them of who they yeah. could contact or are there options, you know, that, that you're aware of that you can help with? Yeah, um, there's a ton of options. And the thing is, a lot of people don't know where to look at resources. Yeah. So many out there. Um, a good option would be you can call me, email me, um, and I we offer a ton of different programs. Um, one of them is um, our vocational center, which they can come every day. Um, we have an e-first program to where if they say, hey, I want to quick in and out. I want in about 30 days. I want to learn some stuff but I still want a job. Um, that's a program option. Um, we offer a program called supported employment to where they want to work, but they may not necessarily want to come to the vocational center mm -hmm. where we may meet them um, at job sites. We may meet them at their home, uh, but it's just still, they want to work. They just don't want the class time. Yeah. Um, but we have several programs that we could definitely help with. And Ar also Arkansas Rehab Services is a good outlet too. They, they can really talk to everybody and let them know all the options as well. Um, so what about community involvement? Is there, is there things that, you know, what, what, things that, what do you see? Is there things that people can do? Yeah. Um, we have over the years really grown to about 30 or 40 businesses that work with us throughout the central Arkansas area. They love our students. They love when they come. They love that they're learning things. Um, they love that they can help them. Um, so they just love our program in general, whether it's the high school or whether it's the vocational center. Everyone is so welcoming. Um, and we've also developed a job shadow program to where they can volunteer, or if it's something they're interested in, they can job shadow at these businesses. But we really love that everyone is so welcoming of all of our students and they just, they're happy to see them when they come in. So I can see you just, you know, as there's, uh, it's, so, it's so interesting when I talk to you guys that are, that do this for a living and you just, I mean, you just beam, you know, you just glow with, um, excitement for for what you're watching happen right before your eyes I mean you're watching these these amazing success stories and oh, yeah. um, and 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 watching watching them become more independent so mm -hmm. is there is there any success stories that you would like to share with us um yeah I have a few um one of my favorite ones is we had a young man come to us um he had already graduated and um, he really had the mentality of, I can't do anything. Um, no one believes in me. No one thinks I can do anything. And his dream was landscaping. Let's be a landscaper. And um, he was with us probably about six months and we gave him a landscaping job. And he is the happiest person that you can see on this planet. I mean, he just beams every day. Um, and he works a full-time job. He works 40 hours a week. And sometimes they work overtime in the summer, but he is always just so happy about it. And he, he always is like, if it wasn't for you guys, I, I couldn't have done this. No one believed me. No yeah. one could do anything. Um, and that's, you get such gratification from it. And, and he's doing I, what he loves. Yes, he's doing what he loves. Um, Another one, um, we had um, a young man. He works um, at an auto, auto dealership in central Arkansas. And he loves cars. Anything about cars, old cars, new cars, he can tell you everything about them. And um, we got him a job at the dealership. And I mean, he is on cloud nine every day. He's learning everything. He changes tires. He knows how to change oil now. Um, so they're working him kind of from the more simpler tasks. And until one day, I'm sure he'll probably be changing motors and things like right. that. But um, I, when I check on him periodically to see how he's doing, they love him. They said, we can't wait to hire him. And yeah. so that would be probably a big, 
huge milestone in his life. And um, I mean, that could be a long-term job placement for him doing what yeah, he You know, I mean, those are, those are, you know, we, we keep saying jobs, but those are great career options. Oh, yes. You know, yeah. I mean, there's, there's plenty of people that go into, in, in fact, I'm in the car business. So there's a, there's a ton of people that go into this line of work because they, they love it, you know, oh, yeah. and it's, it's absolutely beautiful to see that you guys are able to see the potential in our community and mm -hmm. you're able to really tap into the things that they love and, you know, helping them to become independent. Oh yeah, absolutely. And a lot of these guys, you know, they'll, they'll tell us if it wasn't for, you know, your class, if it wasn't for um, me signing up for this, I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't be working today. I wouldn't have got yep. that. So it's a really yep. Do you, um, and I've got one last question, and this is, as a parent, I'm going to ask you this question. Do you see, how do you, how did the, because I know that that is a very tough time for parents, um, not knowing what the future may hold. Do you have, you know, do you have any words of wisdom for the parents of, you know, things that might help them with this? Because, you know, this is a big, big deal. This is a really big deal when you're, you know, moving into independent living. Yeah, um, I would say, you know, um, listen, you know, just keep open ears and um, really listen to them, be patient. It's a huge transition. I mean, when you graduate high school and you're moving on into the real world, it's a huge change and it causes mixed emotions with different people, but be patient and listen. And I mean, just be involved, um, you know, ask what they want to do, ask what they're looking for in life, but really just be there for them too. Yeah. Well, I can't thank you enough for everything that you do. You are making dreams come true. That's for sure. And I have said this, you know, that, you know, if we go back 15, 20 years, how far we've come mm -hmm. and we've come this far because of people like you. And so we just, I mean, we just can't thank you enough and thank you for loving our community and doing what you do. Well, thank you so much. And I'm glad I could um, be a part of this. It was good. It was good. Thank you. Have thank a good so night. Much. All right. You too. Bye. Bye.